Academy, and it's my, I'm very proud to continue the Service Academy portion of tonight's program. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, Bob. Congratulations to all the other award winners tonight. Um, it's an honor for me to be here tonight to introduce our next award winner. In honor of Kent, I'll keep my remarks short. <laughs> <laughs> I also just checked with the kitchen, and there's no truth to the rumor that there will be a second dessert of shortcake tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I had the honor of meeting Kent's mom, who came in tonight uh, before the before the awards ceremony, and she asked me if I needed a few little notes for my speech. I, told her, I, I was all set with that, but she. She is going to be in Wally World tonight telling stories of Kent's childhood, so if any of you are interested, make sure you see her. <laughs> I met Kent at my first Coach Sida in 1995 in Boston, and we became roommates at ECHC Sida ever since. We've played plenty of rounds of golf, you agree, Kent? His short game's amazing. <laughs> I want to thank the ECAC side of board also for making the exception to the no short pants rule this week for Ken. <laughs> because even his long pants are short. <laughs> now, as you know, everyone has a different joke about Kent and his height. But that's not what tonight's about. It's not about jokes. It's about honoring the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Kent is a 25-year veteran profession, having just completed his 16th year at Plymouth State University. Prior to Plymouth State, he was an assistant SID at Miami University in Ohio from 1984 to 1992. He also served eight years on this ECAC side of board, and he was the president in 2006-2007. Kent is a guy who loves his profession and the people who work in this business. And those are you people in this room tonight. And it's funny, Roger mentioned something I'm also going to mention. I the first time I remember, Kent was the MC of this banquet. And he closed it out by saying, you can have Thanksgiving, you can have Christmas, you can have New Year's. This is my favorite night of the year. And that's because of you people in this profession, people in this room, you are like family to him. So Kent's an SID. However, what if Kent had not become an SID? <laughs> I've put together a top ten list of things. <laughs> Number ten, shortstop. <laughs> Number nine, he could have played Dan DeVito's role in Twins. <laughs> Number eight, he easily could have landed a role as part of the lollipop deal than a wizard. <laughs> Number seven, Emmanuel Lewis's body double in Webster. <laughs> Number six, a cameo on Little People, Big World. <laughs> Number five, he could have been one of Santa's elves. <laughs> Number four, Yoda. <laughs> Number three, he could have had a long run as Minnie Me in the Austin Powers movies. <laughs> Number two, one of the Oompa Loompas in Charlie and the Chocolate. <laughs> but seriously, the number one thing our buddy Kent Charrington could have done if he had not become an SID, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish mascot. <laughs> Serious, you need to see him do it. He even wears green tonight, so he'll be in Wally when you gotta have him do it for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he may not be tall enough to ride the rides at Disney World, <laughs> but it's my pleasure to introduce to you the 2010 Irving T. Marsh College Division recipient. <laughs> <laughs> 